All right, we are back with the West Ham career mode. Now, in this series, we might have had our worst start ever. We have played five games. We have five draws. And we've only scored four goals. So, yeah, things are things are kind of bad. But Jared Bowen is the only one who scored goals for us. He has five. And that is literally the only player that has scored for us. And we signed uh, Jesse Lingard. Hasn't had the greatest start. But we honestly can't put too much blame on Lingard. I mean, the whole team is kind of struggling right now, other than Bowen. So, we're going to see if we can change that in this episode. Um, As always, I appreciate the support of you guys showing episode one and two. If you guys want to keep seeing this series, then drop this video a like and we are creeping up on 72,000 subs now so we just get closer and closer to 100,000 subs and also batman arkham knight part 7 is out on the second channel so link is in the description for that okay first comment you should give lingardino a lot of game time yeah i mean the plan is for him to start we didn't sign him to be on the bench we didn't sign him to be a backup we signed him to be a starter so that's the plan hopefully he can play like a starter soon we just need someone else to step up and score other than bowen this is bowen fc right now and next one luis sinistera would be an amazing signer for the team you should sign him next season maybe yeah you guys are saying that he had a very good conference league for fine order i'm guessing i've never heard of him but i mean hey i'd be interested i feel like we are gonna need some wingers at some point we still got terrier up on top of our list right now for potential winger signings but this guy could be second he does look pretty interesting and last one you should have a role where if a starter leaves you can replace them without accounting as part of your limited signings yeah i think especially if we sell one player we can sign a max of one replacement but i don't want it to be where we sell four players and we bring in four players i want to keep it like restricted like we sell three players we can only bring in one replacement for all three of them i think it'll make it harder and plus it'll make us re think selling players because we can't just go selling everybody we can only bring in one replacement you got to be smart about it so i think that's what we'll do for now and also yeah i wouldn't mind bringing siemens to uh, west ham honestly now it looks like we're not going to be continuing the leon career mode i know a lot of you guys liked it but the other series are just simply just doing better than that series i think we'll revisit it in the future at some point though but a very small consolation could be bringing siemens to west ham in this series so we'll, we'll see okay we're about to settle this man's name for once and for all i have heard broja i have heard broha i have also heard broya now one of you guys in the comments last episode said it's broya and i found a video where he says it himself he says his name and it's broya so that is finally settled and also when you guys let me know that uh crow our uh david louise doppelganger apparently this man's no longer at west ham apparently he's gone like a russian team but since he left in real life you guys let me know if we should sell him in this series or not and also a lot of comments asking us to sell antonio i mean when a team is struggling to score goals we're gonna look at the striker to blame him i don't really blame antonio though i think it's the full team that's not playing well right now i honestly think we're gonna snap out of it at some point it's just a matter of when and i do feel like antonio doesn't start scoring hopefully in this episode okay first game is mansfield town in the EFL cup if there was, a, there was ever a time for a player to score other than bowen it is in this game if if we lose this i'm gonna lose it okay broya vlasic and broya score finally players not named bowen have scored okay can we now do it in the prem because it'd be very nice we got leeds united next and it's gonna be 2-1 okay bowen's only one scoring in the prem but at least it's a 2-1 win i will take it okay second conference of the game i mean we lost our first game so it would be nice to win this against like get our first win in the conference league and that's 4-1 vlasic vlasic bowen and rice okay are we starting to snap out of it okay first guy reports on Czech republic um we maybe found two this guy's 675 value so we're gonna sign him up and then richard bartos is 350 i want to take a look at him though and then we found nothing in cameroon or england so okay oh man what kind of name is that how do i say that name sikora sikora i don't even know but i mean he's actually 60 rated he's a he's a left mid I mean, he looks, he actually looks pretty well-rounded as a, maybe a cam. Honestly, like doesn't look the worst. Maybe a center mid. He's only got 44 defending though. We'll make him a cam and see what that does to his rating. And then this guy is center forward, 71 pace, 52 shooting, 68 dribbling. I mean, pace and dribbling, the man looks like a winger. So I think we'll make him winger and see what that does to his rating too. So Sinistera is 80 rated like Terrier and he's a little bit more expensive because he's younger. But I mean, 92 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, 75 finishing, 87 dribbling. He does look pretty good. So definitely another, another good winger option if we want to sign a winger in January. Okay, Brentford next. Can we continue our ascension in the Premier League table? 2-1 we do. Bowen and Lingard scores his first goal for West Ham. Okay, so now can this translate to actual played games? Okay, so like, yeah, we just found center forward to right winger and goes up to 59. I mean, it's not, he's not terrible. Could turn into something in the future, I don't know. But we got Everton next. They're in third place, so they've had a very good start. We're up to eighth, which is very good. Now, I did see some comments saying to lower our sliders a bit, like the goalkeeper ability from 55, maybe back to 50. But I think for now, I want to try to stick with 55 and uh, see if we can bring out of this slump. I feel like the sliders are okay. Honestly, I... I, I just need to play better. So that's that's the plan at least. Now, the 352 actually worked decent against Manchester United, and we might try that again, but I think I'm gonna try the 4231 narrow. I kinda I kind of feel like it just suits the players we have more. Where Lingard and Fornau are two cams, and then Bowen's like a right winger. We will see, because yeah, we are a bit desperate for our first actual win in a played game. Okay, Jared Bowen is the Premier League top scorer. That's just insane. We will see if he can have some other teammates join him on the scoring list like i said the one positive about this team is we haven't lost yet in a played game we have not lost it's just we can't score we haven't played bad just the finishing has been uh it's been non-existent but this actually looks like a pretty good move then guard 
Okay, Lingard, what kind of pass was that to Antonio? We need to be a bit uh, sharper than that. Imagine a team went invincible in the Prem, but like didn't win the title. Like they finished actually like six. They just had like 20 draws. That would, uh, that'd be hilarious. I'm surprised. I wonder if that's ever been close to happening. Okay, that's a good cross in. And Diop, who's been pretty good for us. That's a good clearance. Okay, Lingard, how did he just win that? I don't know, but I like it. Okay, Declan Rice with a magnificent pass to the Premier League top scorer, Bowen. Cross to Jesse Lingard. Okay, Lingard actually looked like he almost was going to get to that, but... The man does not. Cornells gets that to Suchek. Into Antonio. Perfect chance to score. And okay, are we cursed? We might be cursed. We might actually be cursed in this series. You can't get a much better chance than that. And Antonio hits the hits the post. Okay, Antonio. Back to Lingard. Lingard. Okay, get it to get it to Cresswell. Cresswell. We got a cross swing it in. And that's gonna be too close to the keeper. I mean, once again, it was a good move. Just uh just hits the post. Antonio, decent ball to Lingard. We got a cross to Bowen. Okay, Lingard, what a cross, actually. I'm gonna go to Declan Rice. He chests it, volleys it. Okay, I don't know what that was. I thought the vo I thought the volley would be more dramatic than that. Oh, that's a good ball to Sigurdsson. Why is he even in the game still? D up. Good uh good steal though. Do check to Cresswell. Oh, that was supposed to go to Lingard. That first pass was supposed to go to Lingard. Please be on side. He's offside, bro. We're just cursed right now. That was a good chance, but the first pass should have went to Lingard. Antonio gives it to Fornaus. Fornaus gonna turn. Tonio's a little bit away here. Oh, Lingard, what a ball. Antonio, okay, that was gonna be that was gonna be a tough one though. Just once again, that was like a very good first half from us. We defended well. We created like two pretty good chances. Just still unable, unable to score. Okay, can someone please run for this? Why is why is Ariola coming for that? Presswell gives that to Antonio. Antonio gets it. Get it. Okay, why is that pass so slow? Okay. Is he on side? Bowen's on side. This man is the only one doing anything in this team, scoring-wise. He scores again, thankfully. Okay, we need to win this game. That was like such a weird chance. This pass took forever. I passed it so long ago, and uh, I thought he was offside. Still onside, though. This is uh, this is Jared Bowen FC 1-0 against Everton. Okay, Antonio wasn't bad in this game, but Brolia did say he wanted to play, so I think I'm going to give him a decent amount of game time in this one. It's just uh, we, can't, we can't concede now. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Well, I was not expecting that from Allen of all players. Wait, that's not even Allen. Who is that? I thought it was Allen. It's not even. Uh, it's not even Allen. I didn't expect that. Oh, I didn't expect that little skill move. Oh, it's Ben Yedder. Why is Ben Yedder playing for Everton? When did they sign him? I'm so confused on who that is. Okay, we just did exactly what I said we cannot do: Con score or concede right after scoring. Now we gotta score again. Okay, come on. We we gotta win this game though. Good ball to Broya. Broya. Okay, he just lost it. Good ball to Broya. Broya. Oh, that was going to be a good ball to Bowen. Okay, I'm going to drop Fornals back, and we're going to make him be a center mid. I'm going to put Lingard down the middle, and we are going to do Ben Ra No, let's do Vlasic on the left. Let's try that. So we're only playing with one CDM now, Declan Rice, instead of two. See if that helps us in our, our attack, I guess. Okay, Broya, just steal yourself. You know, that's, that's cool. That's uh, some pretty good work. Oh, man, that was almost a very good ball, too. I didn't exactly mean to play it like that, though. Man, playing on these sliders is just, like, so just annoying because like they score once and it feels like it's every goal means so much Lingard gets that to Broya Broya swing it please thank you for nows for nows gonna give that to Vlasic we got a cross maybe we do it is Broya and we just hit the post again Broya gets a like a good header and it's just off the post we literally are just cursed Bowen good ball to Vlasic to Jesse Lingard, and that's a good save by Pickford. The post has made more saves this game than Jordan Pickford. 83rd minute. We're gonna we're gonna cross Simon Lingard. Get a little dink. Oh, Declan Rice, please, can you face the right way? What is happening? Okay, for now, just let's just hold the ball for a second. We've got a lot of time. Honestly, not trying to give this ball away. I want to get the win, but honestly, not trying to give away this ball in a bad spot. Blasic, bro, yeah, please, bro, yeah, please. Oh, bro, you yeah, might have just scored the winner. The relief in that, bro. Yeah, that is the biggest goal so far in a West Ham shirt. Oh, that's such a relief. That is that is such a big relief. Okay, we were patient and it paid off, bro. You found a very some very good space there. Left footed shot. And that is just beautiful. Is that gonna be our first win? First played win of the series. Please, please just just hold. Just win the ball back and let's just hold it, please. Oh, three added minutes. The refs are against us. They are against us. Oh, that's way too much time. Oh, okay, they give it away. Okay, let's let's relax. Let's just chill out here. Let's just relax. We got this. We're just going to hit this forward. Man, we needed this win so badly, and we had to fight for it, but we do get finally a win. And that was against a third-place Everton side. That's a very good win for this team. And it's very nice to see the new signing, Broya, scoring the winner in this game, too. Broya's dramatic late goal steals, seals West Ham win. Hey, I mean, we have one striker now who's actually scored a goal, I think. Antonio has not scored yet. Yeah, Antonio still has a goose egg on the score sheet, so does that mean Broya should start? It's, uh, it is, it's something to think about. Okay, next game is Vitesse in the Conference League, and that's a 2-1 win, actually, for Nows and Bowen. So, with that win, 
win, that sees us back in the first place in the Conference League, which is great. And after losing 4-1 to Union Berlin on the first match day, they're now in fourth in the group. That, that's just funny. Um, Next game is Spurs in the league. Broya starts and also Vlasic starts this game. And that's going to be a 2-1 win against Spurs. Vlasic and Bowen. Um, Okay, this team, this team is starting to turn around. Okay, next game is in the EFL Cup against Leicester. Honestly, we want to put some importance on the domestic cups. So I don't really feel like comfortable to sim this game. So we're going to play it. Mark Noble comes in and starts this game. Craig Dawson comes in. Masawaka comes in. And Broya is out with a red card from the last game. So Antonio starts this game. Let's see if he can score. All right, Antonio, you've been good so far. But this is a game. EFL Cup. This is the time for you to score now. Otherwise, if he doesn't score this game, I think Broya, uh, he might start anyways. But Antonio doesn't score this game. I think it's set in stone. Broya becomes the starting striker, I think. Antonio, good ball back to Lingard. Lingard needs a runner. Noble, we can't get that to Vlasic, though. So this is the round of 16 of the EFL Cup. So this is to reach the uh, quarterfinals. A good ball to Pats and Dak. Uh, did we play Leicester in the, in the previous episode, maybe? I think we did. Okay, I, I get it. That's a good, that's a good tackle. A good ball from Lingard to Vlasic. Vlasic, uh, I feel like he... Some of you guys said he's, he's been a flop in real life, but he seems like he should be good in this game. I don't know why he's not as good as he... As he maybe should be. Okay, that was a risky pass by me. Oh, man, that's not a good ball. But again, with another good tackle. Okay. Honestly, defending hasn't been bad in the series for the most part, I feel like. Okay, Antonio, he might be in, though. Lingard, beautiful ball to Antonio. Antonio, it's a tough first touch. Okay, we need to hold it up. Need to chill and hold it up. That is actually a good ball to Mark Noble, of all people. And it was a good shot. Okay, Craig Dawson, you're, you're a large human being. You're about to get in the mix here. You're about to get in the mix. Okay, what kind of corner was that, though? What do you want him to volley it? Okay, this is a lot of possession for Leicester. We're trying not to concede here. It's been a lot of possession. And, okay, Dawson, that's a good challenge. And that was a lot of defending right there. Lingard, decent ball to Antonio. He needs some uh, some help, though. That is Masuaku with uh, actually a very good cross. It's going to be a corner, at least. All right, short corner to Lingard. A little bit of turn, a little bit. Okay, Lingard, please. Lingard! What did, what did we just do? I tried to cross it and he went for a slide tackle. Honestly, kind of an uneventful first half. We'll see if that changes. Ball in. Good ball to Lingard. Come on. First goal here. First goal right here in Lingard. We just got like a bug. We got a bug that is team wide that we just can't, we just can't score. Of course, after a chance like that, I feel like you're going to score. Okay, Dawson, that's another good challenge though. Mark Noble, good ball to Vlasic. Get that to Antonio. Okay, that was a bad ball from Vlasic. Yeah, Lester do look like they're going to score at some point. I just don't know when. We're trying to defend this, Dawson. You've done well so far. You've done well so far. You continue to do very decent. All right, come on. Let's be patient. Let's try and find something. Mark Noble. Mark Noble is going on the run of his life. Okay, I was waiting for Antonio to get in a good spot there. And this uh, movement wasn't the best there. Vlasic, good ball to Antonio. Vlasic is going to go. Get on his bike. I mean, he's got some pace. He's not insanely quick, though. We just got to shoot. And it was almost actually deflected in. Okay, Lingard is written. So let's do Lanzini. And let's do Crawl for Mark Noble. And let's do Johnson for Sioux Fall. And that'll be it. Come on. I feel this goal coming. I feel it. I can feel a scoring. Lassage. Okay, a little turn. Actually, Declan Rice is in a decent spot here. Declan Rice shot off of Dawson. And Dawson just, I don't know what that was. Yeah, you do need to get on your knees and pray for that. I'm not, sh I'm not sure what that was. Bro, once again, I think Dawson is going to win the ball, and it just goes right by him. The same exact thing happened in the last episode. He's defended so well in this game, too. So once again, I think we're going to win it, and we don't, and then they just, he just, I thought we are going to win it there. I totally thought he was going to stick a foot out and actually stop the ball. Okay, we're down 1-0. We got 10 minutes to score, man. I think that might actually be their first shot of this game, actually. Okay, that was supposed to go to Declan Rice, not all the way to uh, Bowen. Okay, Captain Declan Rice steals the ball, and now he's going to run by himself. He needs some help, though. Our CDM is making a run, and everyone's so slow to catch up. And then just no one's in a good spot for that pass. Everyone's just behind a defender. The uh, EFL Cup dream looks like it's coming to an end, to be honest. We got three out of minutes, though. It's just winning this ball back in time is incredibly difficult on these sliders. And Leicester just keep it, and they're going to win 1-0. I think that was their only shot of the game. So it is not going to be an EFL Cup uh, dream journey for us in Season 1. Man, just another game where it's not, it doesn't feel like a deserved loss. Yeah, I mean, their one shot was their one goal. Okay, that guy we found, uh, Sikora, to a cam, and he goes up to 61. I mean, that's it's decent. I think that definitely a lone spell will help uh, but, I mean, maybe both of these guys out. All right, Aston Villa, Lingard gets the rest for this game. Ben Rama comes in, and this game's going to be a 1-0 win, courtesy of the main man, Jared Bowen. Okay, from Cameroon, we got this guy, 500,000 value. We're sign him up um this guy ibrahim davies from uh from england he looks decent too and that might be it for the scouting run it is we found two guys in that that scouting reports um mendy from cameroon is a is a center mid he's got pace and passing so definitely a cam i mean nothing like too amazing and this guy looks even worse in the bottom he is a right back physical 
pace defending. Actually looks more like a center back, but he's only 5'7", though. That's the issue. I mean, I'll make him a center back and see what his rating does at 5'7", though. Uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna struggle to be a center back. Maybe a CDM, I don't know. But okay, now we got Vitesse again. Now, this game is kind of big because they're in second place. And I honestly do expect Union Berlin to, like, try to catch up to that first and second spot. So if we lose this, that'll put us in a very bad spot in our conference league group. But I do think, due to recent performances, I think Broya has, uh, has earned the starting spot for now at striker. I think he's just, he's just done better than Antonio, simply. Um, we do have Liverpool, like, in a few days. So I do want to maybe rotate a little bit, uh, keep some players fresh. I'll give Lanzini a game at Cam, but I think we need everyone else. So we will play this against Vitesse, hopefully get a win here. Like I said, if we lose this game, this could be the game that knocks us out of the conference league. So this is actually, this, this is pretty big. Let's see if Broya can continue to earn that starting striker spot too. Okay, this is not a good start. This is one of our starts that we look like conceding. Okay, again, I was going to block, but I mean, the ball is still in our box. It is going to be a corner for Vitesse. This feels like one of those games that just feels a bit shaky. I don't even know what I just saw there, but I mean, Areola just missed that cross completely. So does feel like one of those just all odd games. How does he get through there? How does he get through there? Okay. Okay. Again, it's a pretty good challenge. Just, I don't know what kind of defending that is. Feels like on these sliders, just every bit of defending is desperate defending. Man, one player who has been very good is Declan Rice. The man has been uh, very good at CDM. Lanzini gets that to Broya. Broya, man, that first touch is so heavy. Suchek wins it right back, though. Bowen gave it to Broya. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. And the shot is right at the keeper, though. I maybe should have took a touch. I think I had more time than I realized, but it was a good shot. It's just right at the keeper, though. Okay, Broya again is getting into a very good spot. Okay, Broya, we got to score this. Broya, low driven shot, and Broya, that is what we need. We need some finishing from that striker spot. Okay, low driven shot doesn't fail me there. Man, he actually might be better than Antonio. Like, if he is, we might actually seriously start considering selling Antonio. Because it makes no sense to keep him if Broya is the one that's playing better than him and is actually better than him in-game. But 30th minute, that is uh, that is 1-0 to West Ham. Okay, Lanzini is driving forward pretty good here, and the shot is going to go over the net. Yeah, we definitely should have passed that one. Do we, like, get our second goal, though? That's one thing we have not done in this series yet, I think. Like, actually score the second Bowen. Oh, I meant, I meant to pass that. I was actually close to a penalty. I feel like he got more Bowen there than he got the ball. Oh, Declan Rice. Declan Rice is an absolute beast in this game. Okay, that ball is a little bit overhit. Oh, it's overhit, bro. Yeah, please. Don't do that to me. I know you're a striker. You're not known for your passing, but we got to do better than that. Bro, yeah, gets it to Bowen. Bowen, you got so much space to run into. You got so much space. Come on, you've been the one man that's finished chances in this team. And that is as simple as you like. This man, Bowen. Is actually a beast. I didn't know he was this good, but that is 2-0 at halftime. Perfect time to score. Now let's go secure this win. Broya, great dribbling into Lingard. Lingard, Broya's kind of away there a little bit. Okay, not not exactly away. Lingard still is a right back though. Lingard showing some uh, defensive prowess there. So check. Gives it to Broya. Okay, that was off the arm of that defender. Oh, how do we not win that? Get that to uh, Lanzini. That is a good ball. I mean, as long as we don't concede one, I think we'll be good. It's just if they score, then I'm going to start to get nervous. Broya, good ball to Lingard. Bowen is on his bicycle. And, oh, Lingard, what? Oh, we hit the post. That would have been so beautiful. Lingard, what a pass. Bowen gets so close to scoring that it hits the post, though. Man, that hurts. That would have been an absolutely just beautiful goal to score. Okay, Bowen, Lanzini. Oh, we got some. Oh, Bowen, please get on your bike. This is a sweat if I've ever seen one. This is a sweat. We're getting sweaty here. Bowen gets the tap in. I mean, right place, right time. And this is 3-0. This is the first win of the series where it's actually going to be like a comfortable win, I think. Okay, 3-0. Antonio is on for Broya. Lingard and also Bowen are resting, so they're off. I need them fit for the next game. The next game is Liverpool, so we need them fit. And this game looks uh, pretty much in safety. Right, there's a good ball to Vlasic. Antonio's kind of away there. Oh, that was actually a good cross. It was almost a good cross. And get that to Lanzini. Lanzini. Lanzini just handled the ball. What are you playing basketball? And Vlasic cutting inside. What do we got? What do we got? Get it to someone. The ball is to Antonio. Antonio. Oh, please be on side, Benrama. That was actually so sloppy. Why was everyone just running offside there? I had like, I had like no options. I actually did. I just probably picked the wrong ones. Good ball to Lanzini. Lanzini's actually played a great game. Antonio, this is your chance to show me that you can score. Antonio. Uh, okay, the, the low-driven shot failed me. I don't know if I blame Antonio for that or I blame the low-driven shot. I'm just gonna forget that ever happened, honestly. I'm gonna forget that ever happened. Come January time, I don't think I'm gonna forget that, though. Because that is, a that's a horrible miss, Lanzini. Can we get the cross off? No, we can't. Man, is Antonio's time at West Ham coming to an end? We face Liverpool next. We might get a look at Firmino, who is our dream signing of the series. And I do feel like that's a signing that's, like, maybe not too far off. I feel like Foden, that would be a signing, like, deep in the series. But Firmino, honestly, could be a more sooner signing than we think. Especially with Antonio's uh, decline, I guess. Fast decline. Not scoring. Form he's in. So we will, we will see. Okay, that's full time, though. Doesn't change the fact that, that was a very... That's our best win in the series in terms of performance. Very solid defending. Three goals scored. That's three times more than usual. And most importantly, a needed three points in the conference league. I mean, Antonio, what's it... What, what's 
what's Antonio's value? His value is 15.5 million. So 15 plus about 20 ish. I guess actually 15 plus 25, which is actually 40 million. I don't know if we'd be able to afford Firmino in January with that because uh, he is valued at 56 to 78. So probably not actually. We'd have to sell someone else pretty big, but I just feel like Firmino would be so good in this team at center forward. Even at cam, he'd be good to be honest. Like if we wanted to keep Brolia starting Firmino behind him at cam, that'd be pretty good. So we've actually climbed all the way up to fifth place. Like talk about an insane recovery and we face Liverpool next who they're also unbeaten and they are in first though and we do get a pretty good look at Firmino playing for Liverpool in this game too I'm surprised Firmino is still starting I mean I feel like with Darwin Nunez Jota I feel like he probably wouldn't start Luis Diaz in real life I feel like he's probably towards the end of his Liverpool career but I mean maybe because of injury he starts here we'll get a look and see how he does and bro, yes, see what we can do against the Liverpool team, although they're in first. I mean, I predict a loss here, but we will, we will see. Whenever I play Firmino in career mode, he always scores against me, like always. But Salah this time might. Areola, that's a good save. Foreigner swung in. That should be cleared by Broya, and it is. Okay, Luis Diaz is just literally, just literally running past everyone. And Areola catches that at the near post. And he just, he just fell. Firmino almost just scored a rebound because Areola dropped the ball. What am I seeing right now? Somehow we don't concede. I don't know what I just saw, but somehow... This game is still nil-nil, and Bowen, oh, he's going to be offside. No, he's not. Bowen is not offside. Bowen, first goal of the game is going to be scored by Jared Bowen. I forgot to say, I have changed uh, Liverpool's tactics in the menu before we started the series, so they should not play, like, super just crazy all-out press. They should be more conservative, which means they should be easier, or actually harder to beat. Not as easy as they usually are, but... That's a great start. Bowen scores, and we are 1-0 up on first place Liverpool. And Bowen, Bowen is just an absolute beast. Presswell gives that to Lingard. Lingard from distance. Okay, that was a good block by uh, Kanate. Thiago. Okay, this looks actually dangerous. Thiago is going to get that to Salah. What are they going to do here? Salah never crosses it. He usually just uh, either does that or cuts inside. Okay, we're everywhere. We're everywhere. Luis Diaz, that's a good touch. And that's going to go all the way back to Salah. That is ridiculous. What kind of cross is that to Salah? That's actually ridiculous. And this game is tied up. I mean, we'll just tip our hat and say it's a good goal. I don't know. That cross is just a bit ridiculous. Okay. This is 1-1. Uh, I don't know if you can notice, but they're not super pressing. They're not like they're... They don't have a super high line either. I think I put their depth at like 50, like more balance. I did that to Man City too. Like that should be... That should make these games a lot more difficult. Because I do feel like in FIFA, that's why the lower teams are easier or actually harder to beat. They play more balance, like more conservative in FIFA. It just makes them, makes them play better. Okay, Firmino just literally swipe that from Declan Rice, but Suchek swipes it from Firmi Firmino. Firmino, what kind of touch? What kind of touch is that, Firmino? Okay, there's so much chaos in this game happening right now. I can't keep track of it. Ruben Neves, oh, Diop. Man, Diop and Aged has been so good in the back as a, like, a center back partnership. Ornells gets that to Lingard. Okay, this shot should not be blocked from Jesse Lingard. No, it is not. Okay, there's a bit of Lingardinho for you. What a shot by Jesse Lingard. That was a screamer for that shot. And this is 2-1 to West Ham. Okay, I shot this not really expecting it to go in. But Jesse Lingard, what a goal. That might be the best goal we've scored in this series so far. And it's, it's of course, from the new signing, Lingardinho. And that's a good way to end the first half. Man, like, even if we go on to lose this game, the panic alarm that was going off at the start of the episode, five draws in five games, you gotta say it's definitely been... It's definitely... It's definitely been quieted a bit. Of course, they got to score, like, while I'm saying that, right? Of course. 2-2, two, two, I'm just going to stop. I literally thought, you know, start of the half, they won't score. While well, I'm saying this, they won't score. And they do. Okay, all of a sudden, they heard me. Because all of a sudden, they're they're putting together some, like, disgusting passes. Cresswell, good defense, though. Bornells gets that to Jared Bowen. Do we got a cross here to Broya? We might if we cut inside. We actually got far post uh, Jesse Lingard. That was going to be a beautiful cross if we actually got it to Lingard. Okay. Firmino, stop it. Firmino. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Firmino. That's all. That's beautiful. Firmino gets it. Oh, what a save by Areola. And the ball goes right back to Salah. And the lead is in Liverpool's hands. Man, that's it was a good save. It's just one of the rebound goals. Very unfortunate. Areola made a great. That's a great save. But the ball just goes right back to Salah's foot. Okay, this is 3-2 to Liverpool. Literally what I said has come true. Hey, the invincible record is on the line in this game. Broya, yeah, what do we got? Been kind of quiet, but I, okay. How did he just steal the ball? I guess that's Van Dyke. That's just Virgil Van Dyke. If that was him. Okay, Klopp is giving them a very good halftime talk because they've come out looking, looking a decent, decent bit better. Henderson. Okay, that was that was great defending though. Declan Rice to Jared Bowen. Yeah, you can see how their defensive line is much better. Like you can't attack them anywhere near as easily as you could before. You still can, but nowhere near as easily. Man, I wanted that to go to Bro. Yeah, not there. All right, Suchek for nows. Get that to Lingard. Up oh, for nows. Great cross from Jesse Lingard, and Fornals hits the crossbar. 
That was actually beautiful. That was just a beautiful move. Oh, four nows. He had a free header. Totally caught Liverpool's defensive line off guard. And it just goes off the crossbar, man. Man, the fact that we're even competitive with Liverpool on these sliders. I am proud of this team no matter what the outcome. We got a chance here. We got a chance. Who is this? This is Pablo Fornals. Man, that was just good defending. Yeah, I think like if Liverpool were on their old tactics, that's a goal right there because their center backs are pushed up so much. But the fact the fact that they're a little bit deeper, it definitely prevents them from being like over attacked to where it doesn't make sense. Bowen, please keep that in. Bowen keeps that in beautifully. But okay, we're going to win the ball back, I think. I think. Yeah, we are. Okay, Lingard down the middle. Fornals in place of Suchek. And we are going to do Vlasic. And honestly, I think we might leave it at that. We got four minutes to score an equalizer, which, which would be a beautiful equalizer if we can get it. Okay, Lingard. I can't lose the ball like that. Man, we have just absolutely ruined it. No, we don't because we just won the ball back. Okay, we got, we got a minute. We do not have a lot of time. But we got some time. We need to get the ball forward. Okay, Henderson just closed down Bowen like a madman right there. Okay, that might be it. Man, the fact that this game was even winnable, I am encouraged by it. I am very encouraged. We actually played decent. Don't make it another. Okay, don't make it 4-3. That would have been disrespectful to us. Honestly, it's a loss. It's our first loss of the season. But we were competitive with the first place team. So I would take that as a positive. And finally, Liverpool are actually a hard team to beat in FIFA. It's beautiful. Now, the same should be said for Man City, who will play in the next episode. And I think in the next episode, we'll tr probably try and reach the January transfer window. So we got to start thinking. I mean, Antonio still has not scored a goal for us. Like, literally still a goose egg. Jared Bowen has 16 goals in 16 games. What is this man on? This man needs to be drug tested. But Antonio, um, he's 31. He's not scoring. I like him. Like, I want it to work, so I'm not actually sure if we should sell him or not but let me know what you guys think if we did sell him that would mean we have two signings in january i think other than antonio i don't think anyone else really deserves to be sold i feel like everyone else is doing their job as as best as they can so crow i don't know if we should sell him or not because uh because he's left in real life or should we keep him i don't know he looks like david louise i kind of like that if we sell antonio we sell crawl we maybe sell one more player we might have enough for roberto firmino honestly i think if we signed him i'd like to play him at camp like right behind uh broya and one of you guys also said that suchek might be leaving two i'm not sure if that's true or not but say he does what if we played for nows as a box-to-box -box mid and then played Firmino at this cam spot because for nows actually has like decent defending stats he has 71 slide tackle 72 stand tackle that's not bad for a box-to-box -box mid so we got a lot of options that we need to think about Firmino still remains probably my biggest target of the series it's just is this january window coming up the time to sign Firmino? i don't know if you guys enjoyed this video i'd appreciate you dropping a like as always the more you guys drop likes in the videos the more i know you want to see this series um hit that sub button down below so you don't miss a future video and we are on the road to 100,000 subs as usual. Batman Part 7 is out in the second channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day.